Okay, so basically, for those of you that don't know, there's a guy called Eric Lang. And Eric Lang um, made a series of tweets where he called gamers pawn-brained for wanting hot female characters. And then he went on to say that all of the female characters in Dragon Age Veilguard, right? So Dragon Age the Veilguard, all of those female characters are absolute babes. Like absolute babes. The hottest female characters you've ever seen in a video game is uh, the females in Dragon Age. Uh, the Veilguard. Now, I'm looking for a picture of the female characters in Dragon Age Veilguard. There you go. Um, so these are the absolute babes. According to him, th these are the hottest female characters they've ever made in a, in a Dragon Age game. Never mind the fact that Morrigan literally exists. Um, oh, shit. Wait, another hundred? Who the f has this much money? To just be throwing around. I really appreciate the hundred dollars. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Poor brain victim that orc. <laughs> well, we are all porn brain, right? I really appreciate uh the hundred dollars. This is this is nuts. Two hundred dollar donation. Really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um but you have Morrigan, you have Isabella, which did you guys know? That gamers hated Isabella in Dragon Age 2? Because apparently that's the new narrative. The new narrative is that gamers absolutely hated Isabella because she wasn't white. Dude, every gamer I know thought that Isabella was hot. Like every gamer I know thought that Isabella was super hot. So I'm not entirely sure what they're talking about, right? What is this? Z Vengeance, what am I looking at? Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go, boys. Um, Jared, how you doing, bro? Okay, so... According to them, this is the this is the hottest females. Are you guys already? Um, how many of you are turned on by this? Because this is by this is the hottest females uh, Bioware has ever made. Are you turned on already? Like, are you about to? No, my proudest fap. <laughs> <laughs> True, right? Um, but all right. So according to this guy, dude, I think she still looks hot here. Like even here, she still looks decent. Um, I don't have a problem with her in Inquisition. Uh, she's she's fine. Um, but all right. So according to this guy, you know, gamers are just born brain, and we just complain about anyone that isn't white, which of course is absolutely nuts. And the reason I know this is absolutely nuts. When you talk to almost every single gamer, and I know this because I have had these conversations many, many times before. When you ask most gamers, like, what goals are they most attracted to? What goals are they most like? What is the most common answer, do you think? Are, I'm not talking about you individually. When you, if, imagine you went around and you asked, like, 50 gamers what goals they're most attracted to. What do you think the overwhelming majority of people will say? It's Asian. It's always Asian. Doesn't matter what gamer you ask, the overwhelming majority of them are like, oh, I want an Asian goal, because they all play uh, Japanese games, <laughs> and they watch hentai, and they think, you know, Asian goals are just the shit. Um, the second one I've heard, quite frankly, the most is uh, Latina goals. So, you know, uh, but apparently, if the girl isn't white, gamers don't want them, which is nuts. But anyways, so he then attacks the gamers, calls the gamers pawn-brained, says we're just evil, bigoted racists. Now, you might not know, uh, and, and I realize that this isn't enough. Like, if I asked you, who do you think Eric Lang votes for? None of you would be able to tell me, right? 
But I mean, there's so little information about a guy attacking gamers and making up a bunch of nonsense about gamers that you couldn't possibly know who this guy would actually vote for, right? He might be a Trump voter. You, you never know, right? Because he doesn't have a bias when he's making his video games and also when he's tweeting, his bias is definitely not showing. So this is going to shock some of you. I want you, if you're standing right now or you're operating heavy machinery, turn it off right now and sit down, please. Uh, because I really don't want you to get hurt in any way, shape or form. I want you to, because it is going to shock you. You're not going to believe this. But all right. This is Mr. Eric Lang from uh, Mass Effect board game. I agree with 80% of economic left ideas. <sighs> what? I, I could not have guessed. Even slightly left of Bernie Saunders. Now, S Bernie Saunders is a socialist. Slightly left of Bernie Saunders is communist. Just FYI. And I hate that somehow we think propaganda is beneath us. Our slogans are effective. Being righteous over being effective. It's not. So what he's saying here is uh, he has no principles. He has no principles. And, uh, oh, surprise, surprise. See, I have no principles. Being righteous will always be better than being effective. Always be righteous first. Propaganda should be beneath every decent human being. Always. Always. The fact that this guy is tweeting it is disgusting. Now, he goes on to say, I won't even go into the online left, which I agree is largely a dysfunctional clown car full of trauma. I agree with the ideas, hate the tactics. Let's start hot. Make America Great Again is the most effective slogan in our lifetimes, I'll argue possibly of all time. Yes, it's 100% a fascist slogan, checks all boxes, nostalgic, mythic, lyrical, vague. How is Make America Great Again, and I'm asking this sincerely, how is it a fascist slogan? Because I don't, I don't know. I mean, doesn't every country want to be great? Isn't it a good idea to get America back to a place where everyone can profit and benefit and share in the riches of America? Because he goes on to say, unless you're a radical accelerationist who wants to burn it all down, I'm not. You're stuck operating in you're stuck operating in today's world. Don't compromise on values, but absolutely, he doesn't have values. He just said it. A says you have no values, Eric. Propaganda is beneath us. If you had values, you would never say this. Being righteous isn't more important than being effective. You literally say it's not more important. So you have no values. What are you talking about? Don't compromise on values. What values? You you have none. Um. But absolutely, absolutely compromise on tactics. Use propaganda. It's effective. And people still want to tell me that the games they're making isn't propaganda. You're telling me the dude behind the Mass Effect board games isn't using Mass Effect as propaganda? When he says propaganda is effective, use it. Of course, it's not effective because their games keep not selling, but he believes that it is. Do you really think he's not going to use his video games to also push his propaganda? So anyone that's telling me that we're just sounding the alarm, we're just overreacting. Oh, shut the f up, you right-wing asshole. You're just overreacting. No, I'm not. Your side continuously admits that they're assholes that is using our video games as propaganda. Stop gaslighting me, you stupid imbecile. Stop gaslighting. We know what you're doing. We know what you're playing at. The one thing that everyone needs to realize watching the stream right now is there is no debating with these people. There is no debating. 
They're not interested in your debate. They're not interested in your reason or your logic. I'll refer you back to number C. What does it say there? Being righteous over being effective, it's not. You cannot argue with someone that believes it is more important to be effective than what it is to be righteous. Because this person will not, under any circumstances, play by the rules because they don't have to. Whereas you will, because you are righteous, you are at least trying to be righteous. Stop trying. There is only one way for us to deal with these people, and that is to stop supporting them. That is to get rid of them and to get them out of our gaming industry. That is the only way we save our gaming industry.